Ooh. Oh, wait, so is this maybe, uh, the riddle then? Is this maybe the puzzle then? Uh, what was it? Fire and stone, water and bone, then night. Or is it just going to be as simple as just open up all these? Yeah, okay, just as simple as open those up. Well, because I know we've gone down the dragon path before. I don't know if this is supposed to be corresponding to a different path or a different passageway. My son, death oh, comes oh, for you now. No one hides from the dead. I just keep on thinking back to that one puzzle, one, back to that one riddle. Because it's going to be the dragon that I have to go down, because this is just going to be another dead end. What I'm curious about is, does going down the wrong passageway summon the ghosts? Is that what maybe uh, triggers them to spawn? Malvax armor. Don't mind if I do. Death comes for you now. So, for instance, if I had just gone down the dragon path, would these four ghosts have spawned at all? I'm willing to bet they wouldn't have. One thing I do really like about dungeon mods in general is that I think dungeon mods show how much versatility the vanilla assets have, like the vanilla dungeon tile sets have. You can still create new, fun, innovative dungeons using these, you know, 10-year-old designs, using just the base game designs. <laughs> And don't mind me, just gonna walk on through. Still got hurt a little bit, it's fine. Oop, made it just in time, look at that. Because I probably could have gotten through with, uh, without using slow time at all, but it's the proper way to do it. It's how I should be doing it. And I know it. We turned it off. Chest is empty. Because we have his shield and we have his armor. I'm curious if there's more to his set. It's possible we missed it before. It's possible that maybe it was down another hidden passageway and I missed it. So now you're gonna pop out. Malvax, rest. Malvax, defile. Oh, oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Getting shouted at. Oh. Got staggered. Got very, very staggered. Oh, did he just summon a frost giant? Oh, he did. Oh. That coupled with the blizzard right now. Holy shit. Oh, no. Oh, I'm getting bullied right now. Nope, 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 nope. I'm trying to shout. It's not letting me shout. I can't even take my weapon out. The, oh. Alright. It did the thing where it, uh, shouted for me once I put my weapon away. Like, when I did just the foos just now. That wasn't me hitting it. That was a result of me having already held down Z previously. And it kind of, like, queued up that action. I like the screen shake. I'm sure for some people it'll be a little, uh, a bit much. But I like it. Oh! Damn it, I didn't even see that. Oh my god. I'm still alive, right? What's... Alright, nope, I'm just getting pushed over. Getting bullied very hard. This is definitely the, uh... The first kind of, like, challenging fight that I've run into, but I'm also level 81. So I realized that between that plan on Adapt, there's only so much that's actually gonna 
hurt me in some of these mods. Unless I'm playing a mod that's known specifically for its combat and for uh, making enemies just ridiculously strong. Okay, the screen shake is a lot right now because it makes it harder to aim. Oh, he's down. The screen shake hasn't stopped yet. I was hoping it would once uh, Malvac died. Like, stop it. Yeah, give me a sec. Give me a second to wipe all these guys up. I really thought it would have dispelled once we killed them. Oh, there we go. Once everyone was dead. Volder's Curse. A withering curse that does 24 points of damage to health and stamina and lingers the target for 10 seconds. Malvac's helmet. Okay. So there might be more to his armor. There might have been the rest of his set and maybe we just missed it. Journey to the Forbidden Temple. Make your way to the temple. I also get that part of this is that the dungeon, or rather that the dungeons are the uh, the main focus of the mod, and the main quest line and the quest in general are kind of just there to help guide you through the experience taking you from dungeon to dungeon. Um, so I guess maybe that's partially on me that I was going in hoping for the quest to be more of a story rather than just guiding you from place to place. During the Great Rebellion of Men against the Dragon Cult, the last remaining survivors were scattered and hid in various places throughout Skyrim. One of the last remnants of the Dragon Cult, led by a devious leader, Valder, found a remote island called Vomenheim, just far north of Dawnstar. There, on a great temple, they hid for many years, until they were found by Valdgar, who was betrayed by Vasik, the brother of Volder. He was made to believe that if he pledged his life to Volder, that he would be granted immortality. This was not given to Valdgar, and this angered him furiously. Feeling betrayed, he gathered his forces and rallied to Valmenheim. He used a hidden portal to enter the temple where his men stormed the shore, or while his men stormed the shore of the island. Lord Volder and a few powerful warriors, whom they were known as the Knights of Volder. Ingamund, Halkar, and Loden band together with the last remaining dragons and confronted Lord Valdgar and his army. But Lord Valdgar was no ordinary warrior. He was a dragonborn, and a powerful necromancer too. And so they fought for days. Eventually, after battles of relentless battle and carnage, the temple was breached, and not even the witches of Volder could stop Lord Valdgar and his army from advancing on the temple. Seeing this, Lord Volder cried out to his lord, Master Molagbol. The god of schemes descended upon the land of Omenheim and poured his minions to defeat Lord Valdgar and his men. The temple was sealed away, and the portal was hidden. No one knows what happened to the men of Lord Valdgar. Perhaps the souls were taken to Cold Harbor instead. Up to this day, the land remains quiet ever since. But the remnants of the dragon cult can be seen roaming the island, perhaps waiting for the return of their former master, Lord Volder. It was believed that Lord Volder now resides on a strange realm that in order to reach there, one must find a mysteriously hidden portal. See, I'm happy. I'm glad I saw that. I'm glad I read that because that now gives me uh, some information about who I'm fighting, about why I'm fighting them, about where we're going. Uh, backstory to the island, yes, this is what I wanted. So now I'm happy with that. Men will come and sacrifice the weak, for in their blood I shall be reborn. My disciples shall inherit this land. Soon my time will come again. And my wrath shall bring chaos to Skyrim. Not if I have anything to say about it, it doesn't. Not if I can stop you. I'd like to stop you. Damn.
Oh, okay. Sorry, there's a puzzle. There is a puzzle. Which means I have to do a little sleuthing. We have a lot of sleeping Draugr. I'm gonna maybe be a little quiet, see if I can learn the combination without waking them. I've killed a lot of sleeping people already today. Maybe uh, I just don't feel like it anymore. Might not be as simple as that, though. It's okay. Just uh, haven't woken anybody yet. Oh, say, that's an eagle. Okay. What's the other one? Whale and eagle. Yeah. I'm okay with uh, skipping this combat section. I realize that it's a dungeon mod. I shouldn't be skipping any combat sections, but it's just going to be another dozen or so draugr between these two rooms. And close the door so we don't wake them. Well. And. Bird. Boom. Easy peasy. Completed journey to the Forbidden Temple. Oh, next quest didn't start. We made it, though. I assume I can fast travel out of here and fast travel back whenever I want. It would be interesting if maybe the, uh, the mod restricted you from fast traveling out of here. Just because it's the thing of, oh, you need the portal to get out of here, or to enter this area at all. Once again, the Marotha probably didn't want to be that restrictive, but I think it could have been interesting. Oh, oh, two, oh god. Are those two legendary dragons? I know they're named. But I believe they might both be legendary. Ooh. Oh, no. Vulam Tur. Oh, wait. Where, where did the other one land? Oh, God. He's still trying to figure out where to land. Yeah, that can be a little bit of a tricky uh, issue with... Dragon rend at times. Yeah, see, he didn't even uh, land at all. Oh, not let me shout again. There we go. Because dragon rend does wear off after a while, so if a dragon just continues to circle and doesn't land, it can wear off. A little bit of a fun fact. One thing I do like about dragon rend is it also can be used to stagger a dragon enemy. So even if they're already on the ground, using it again on them does stagger them, which is really, really nice. Alright. Let's finish him off real quick. That's one down. Where's your friend? Where's your brother? Oh, okay. And that gives me the key, so I needed that in order to get in at all. I'm guessing you have the key, too. I would assume you both have a key. I know I'm probably just coming up with too many ideas or suggestions right now, but imagine if each one of them had half of the key. Like the one dungeon where you have to get the two halves of the Dragon Claw. Huh? 
And... Boom. <laughs> it's funny, because he was right next to the ground when I hit him, but he just keeps on flying away. I'll be waiting down here. I'll be waiting. It's already worn off, so odds are... We're... My shout... Um, timer's gone, so... Yeah, there it goes. Now it's worn off on you. I was right in the end. Can you get down here, please, you son of a bitch? That doesn't count as being grounded. Oh. You listen to me. <laughs> that doesn't count as being grounded immediately takes off. It's like, oh, alright. I've hit him with Dragon Run three times now. And not a single time have I actually gotten him to land. It's worn off before he's ever actually grounded. There we go. Alright. They say third time's the charm? No. Fourth, fifth, that's where it's at. Okay, so no key on you, so only a key on Vulum Tour. I do like my idea about, um, two halves of the key on the two dragons. Since they're named so it's very clearly like a scripted fight, or a scripted encounter. More and more and more sleep and Draugr, huh? I mean, I know they're going to wake up because I'm about to pull this switch and they're going to say, Hey, you're not supposed to touch that. Who said you could touch our switch? Or not? Well, I'm going to just put you out of your misery. Oh, close, 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 close. Don't worry about it. Just killed your friend, just killed your brother. It's all in a day's work for me. Give me that potion. Give me that poison. Ooh, 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 I hear sarcophagi. There they are. Oh, I was almost about to use Dragon Rend on them. Would not have been good. Would have been a waste of my shout. Oh, oh, you summoned that right on me. I'm actually taking a little bit of damage here. Oh god, I gotta move. Let me heal. Let me heal. Being chased right now. Just ring around the rosy with this, huh? There we go. So I could have snuck past the first couple draug, or I could have chosen not to fight them at all, but in this room. Nah. I was hoping there'd be another tablet there. Can't fall through that, it would seem. Bear, wolf, or sorry, wolf, wow, alright, wolf, bear, you know what I meant, don't worry, I know my animals, I, uh, I had the little thing as a kid where you, you pull the string and it switches to an animal and you hear the voice say the cow goes moo. I was probably smarter as a child than I am now, but... I wasn't dropped in my head a lot as a child, I just, uh, fell a lot as an adult. I dropped myself as a child, as an adult. One thing I would say as a kind of a minor personal nitpick is I do feel that we're getting to the point now where there's maybe too many dragon priests. 
because Dragon Priests in Skyrim were meant to be a little bit more... I guess at a certain point they weren't necessarily as unique because they could just be uh, randomly placed instead of Death Lords once you got to a high enough level, but uh, they were a little bit less common. And if this is a more secluded island that Volder and his uh, handful of followers came to, it just feels like there's maybe too many Dragon Priests for the size of the island and for the fact that it's just those who followed Volder, who was a um, Dragon Priest himself. Granted, if this is the last Dragon Priest encounter, aside from Volder, then I'd say it's an okay amount. It's an alright number. That's just me, that's a personal nitpick, and you know me, I got plenty of them. Who detects me? How am I already detected? I don't even see anybody. I'm gonna flip that. Oh, they didn't lock me in here, interestingly enough. Alright, well. Kinda had a feeling there'd be another Dragon Priest, but... Right. Oh, I have an idea. What if I, uh... Hold on. Goodbye! <laughs> oh. I realize I shouldn't necessarily be trying to cut corners and fighting enemies, but... At a certain point, it's like, okay, it's another... Eight Draugr in one room. So now... Flip that. Ooh, Day with Boots of the Firewalker. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> They're just gonna be locked in that room until the next adventurer shows up. And boy, will they be pissed at the next one to show up. It would be funny because uh, Skyrim has the thing where enemies who are already aggroed to you can follow you between cells. Imagine if them locked behind a gate, they just were automatically ported to me in here. Just escaped their cell. Teleported and just all murdered me at once. Take that, don't mind if I do. Open that up. Oh. Well, that's the way I want to go, which means this is optional, which means I'm going to do it. And then there's going to be enemies, I'm going to say never mind, but you know. The lower chamber. Okay, so three Draugr. Ooh! Gadmundir. Gadmonir, sorry. Man, you guys are heavy sleepers, huh? You guys sleep through almost anything, it seems. So he was named. Ooh, his Claymore. 25 points, burns the target for 10 points. Alright. I'm okay with uh, coming down here then. I would say that was worth it. Oh, I had to. <laughs> I had to, because the key was here. That'll do it. Let me guess, there's gonna be, uh, this door is gonna be locked. Yep. Alright. Yep. Love the ambiance. I take it, uh, you're the one I'm looking for. 
Oh, I thought that one was going to open up. Uh, I looked over there, saw it open. I <laughs> looked to the side, thinking that would open too. wasn't letting me shout again at first. Oh, Draugr Champion. I'm actually taking a bit of damage here. Oh, no. All right. Okay. It's a good thing it was an autosave from, um, coming from the lower depths, because, damn. I am getting dunked on. Yeah, I'm getting really, 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 really really dunked on right now. Alright. Atrax down, that is gonna help at least a little bit. Oh, I... For some reason I thought I was already able to shout again. I was not. Didn't mean to step into the fire. I apologize. Oh, did they stagger Ingamund for me? Wow, look at that. I realize I really, really, really retreated from them. It's fine. Do you just have infinite magicka? You really are just laying it on a little thick right now. Oh, you guys are just tanky is what it is. Alright. Almost. 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 And I realize I should also just be using more of my potions. Like, let's get our stamina back. Let's heal. There we go. The Queen of the Disciples. Ooh, 25 points of stamina, burns a target, target's on fire, take a damage, boom. Also, Soul Trap. I think they did a good job with, um, rewards, with dungeon rewards, quest rewards. Because once again, I think you can do a very good job with dungeon and quest rewards without having to make your own enchantments. Without having to make custom models or anything, because a lot of rewards in Skyrim, in base Skyrim, don't have custom models, custom enchantments, and so on. It's just, hey... This enchantment is pretty good. Or it combines two enchantments and it's pretty good. Well, Volder, it seems your uh, your queen is dead. I'm making it personal now. Cave passage, so will this lead me back to the valley? Oh. Uh, maybe not. No, 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 here we go, here we go. Need to find a way to open that? Oh, easy. Sorry. It's because there's at least one dungeon where it is just hidden here, so I just immediately looked there. Walking right past the actual, uh, handle. Boop. Are we gonna be home free? Will this lead me back to the center of the island, though, or will this take me outside the center of the isle? Okay, back to the valley. Now, where am I? Okay. Because we started all the way down there in Vorenkrung's Pass. We've essentially cleared out the center of the island now. Oh. You heard a whisper of a voice that called you from the Isle of Death. Find the Isle of Death. Now, see, that I think is a good way to do it. In terms of introducing a quest, that is a good way to me because it's... It's, it's telling me. It's like, oh, you've heard this echo, you've heard this whisper, now you know to go there. 
and I haven't found the Isle of Death yet, I still need to figure out how to get there. So it's still leaving enough player agency up to me. Well, let's get out of here. And... Oh, let me discover just a couple locations. Uh, and we can get started on some side quests as well. <laughs>